Low blood sugar in the newborn is extremely common. What you're seeing here is a heel poke. This uses a device to make a tiny incision in the foot, allowing blood to escape that we can sample for our blood sugar. But what does this mean for the future of your baby? One of the most common fears that you hear if you ask parents is that their baby may have diabetes. In fact, the problem is the exact opposite. Babies who are exposed to too much sugar in the womb develop high insulin levels. These high insulin levels cause babies to grow, such as this baby behind me. After birth, because the blood sugar has been high throughout their time in the womb, it takes a while for that insulin level to come down. Their problem is they have too much insulin most often, not that they don't have enough. People with diabetes don't have enough insulin or have enough insulin but their receptors in their body don't respond to it. The great news is most babies are done with their glucose problems in the first two to three days of life. Very few go on to develop longer term problems. But again, it's not that they don't make enough insulin as in diabetes, it's that they often have too much.